police officer is fighting for his life after being shot in the line of duty. He was responding to a domestic violence call where a man has barricaded himself inside of an apartment holding four children hostage. Now that officer was rushed to this hospital at ORMC where he has already undergone surgery for a serious gunshot wound. Now Chief John Mina says he is expected to survive but is asking for prayers. Right now, we don't know the extent of his injuries or where he was shot, but we will be sure to keep you informed as we learn more about this officer's condition. About 11.45 hours last night, officers responded to the Westbrook Apartments off of Eaglesmere uh, for a domestic dispute. Uh, there was a woman who had met her officers off-site and relayed to her officers that uh, her boyfriend had battered her. Officers went to locate subject they contacted with the rest of and at some point uh, there was an exchange of gunfire there one officer was shot he was transported here to ORMC uh, he had a surgery it is a very serious and significant injury uh, he is out of surgery right now uh, he is expected to survive uh, so right now the suspect is barricaded in his apartment he has four hostages uh, all children from 1, 7, 10, and 12. Uh, so SWAT is out there They're trying to negotiate, negotiate with the subject so he peacefully surrenders. And our, our main concern right now is uh, the safety of the children uh, that are in that apartment. Approximately 11.45 hours, our officers responded out here uh, in reference to a domestic dispute. Uh, the victim met with our officers off-site here, away from the apartment, uh, told them that their uh, her boyfriend, Gary Lindsay Jr., 35 years of age, had battered her. Officers went to confront the suspect at the apartment. The suspect shot at our officers, hitting Officer Kevin Valencia. Off at least one officer returned fire. It's unknown if the suspect was. Good afternoon, I'm Greg Angel. We are outside Westbrook Apartment Complex. This is near Universal Orlando Resort, where uh, Orlando Police Chief John Mina just gave an update. After more than 14 hours, this hostage situation is still ongoing. A man is holding four kids hostage after shooting an Orlando police officer. It all started about 11.45 last night, a woman called police saying that her boyfriend was beating her. Officers showed up. That man ended up shooting at officers, injuring one of them. That officer we we know has now been identified as Officer Kevin Valencia. He joined uh, OPD ranks in 2016. He's in his late 20s. And uh, what we know from the chief is that he has a critical injury. He's gone through surgery, but he is expected to survive. Back out here on scene, a very active SWAT situation, more than 14 hours, as I said now, that that man, Gary Lindsay Jr., 35 years old, has been holding four kids hostage in a second floor apartment unit. Two of the kids are his, two of the kids are his girlfriends. Uh, we know he's got a little bit of a past, including arson, domestic violence, and apparently he's out on probation right now at this point. Uh, the police chief says they are working diligently and deliberately to try to come up with a peaceful end uh, to this situation. He won't comment on uh, exactly what they're doing or um, what the communications have been like between Lindsay and officers. The chief just really reiterating there's no rush to do anything. But again, at this point, a very tense situation, especially for those young kids, if you can imagine, still being held hostage, four kids, they range in age from one, seven, 10, and 12. Uh, the good news is that the police officer is expected to survive 
and there seems to be some kind of line of communications, but we have updates for you on My News 13. All right, as you know, the Orlando Police Department and the Orange County Sheriff's Office have been working very hard uh, with, during this long day to bring this uh, situation to a peaceful resolution. Unfortunately, it has a very tragic and sad ending. A short time ago, we made entry into the apartment and found that um, uh, or all four children have been killed by the suspect by apparent gunshot wounds and it appears the suspect took his own life as well. Um, our hearts go out uh, to all the families involved and I know everyone has a lot of questions very early on in this investigation at this scene. I also want to give you an update on Officer Kevin Valencia. Um, you know, he remains in critical condition um, so we're still asking for your thoughts and prayers uh, for him as well. Sure. The only thing that I would add is that we realize that it's been a difficult day for our entire community and as well as those families and, and I too offer uh, our thoughts and prayers to them. The Orange County Sheriff's Office has uh, been in support of uh, the Orlando Police Department during this effort and we had about 60 of our members who ultimately got involved here this afternoon at uh, around 6 p.m. as the Orlando um, Police Department SWAT team uh, needed to be relieved and so uh, my SWAT team came in and assisted the Orlando Police Department uh, in this uh, effort and they were glad to do so and so I have to uh, say to uh, all of the public that uh, the men and women here with the Orlando Police Department did an admirable job today of working diligently to peacefully resolve this situation so that if it was possible, those innocent children could come out alive. And so we are sad that uh, that was not.